Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to show you my new bag. I showed it to you briefly once before, but I have been using it for the last couple of weeks and I haven't, I haven't taken my things out of it yet because I love it so much, I just don't want to change bags. And it is a bag which I purchased in February from Go Forth Goods. They were having, I believe it was a 25% off sale and I got it for a very good price. And here it is. This is my small Avery leather tote bag. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is in this hide is a limited edition hide and it is called Rustic Sage. And I am just so in love with this. I've, I've been using this bag every day and I really do not want to change out of it. I really don't. I am actually on the way to the post office now, and I thought this would be a good time to show you the bag. And um, here it is. It's, this is it. I, I have upgraded this bag a little bit. First of all, if when you buy a limited edition color from a limited edition hide from Go Forth Goods, it is an upgrade right there because it doesn't come standard. The standard colors are black, mocha, and um, something else. I, I forgot what it is. But I, I love this, and I am so excited to have it. It is a great bag. It's so great. It's so lightweight. The weight is 1.8 pounds with nothing inside it. I'm going to show you what I have for fits in, and the total weight of this right now is three pounds 14 ounces and it is so comfortable these straps which are 10 ounce straps are so comfortable they lay so nicely on my shoulder and they don't slip down which is very important to me i i have shoulders that aren't straight i guess i guess they go down and every bag that i put on my shoulder as a shoulder bag just gravitates to to fall off me so let me show you what this bag is it is a tote bag i'll tell you the dimensions in a minute this is the side this is one piece of leather it goes all around it's one piece this is the other side this is where the two seams are it's the only seams this is where it connects with the bottom. I have a lot of information to tell you about this, but I have to read it to you. I, I would never remember it. This is also an upgrade. This it does not normally come with it unless you order it. And this is a, a strap that has a snap button closures like this. And I really like that. It's so easy. These holes in this leather just snap in like that. I could do it in one hand with a little help from my elbow. This is the back. I will tell you about these rivets in a minute. Of course, I have it all written down. And this is the inside. This is everything I'm carrying now, which equals with the bag, three pounds, 14 ounces. So let me read what I, what all the information on the bag, I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll take everything out and show you the inside. I, I am so happy I bought this. Go Forth Goods had two sales, kind of back to back, one in February and one in March. Uh, the one in February is when I got this one, it was 25% off. I got a few things there, and I got a few things in, in the March sale, which was 30% off, and that was in celebration of their eight-year anniversary. And I had been away from, I had been buying other bags and haven't really been buying that much from Go Forth Goods for a few months. And then when I came back, I came back full force. And the reason I came back full, full force is because after I got my first delivery and I saw how awesome these bags are, and I was not afraid to use them at all, I jumped right in 
I use them from the first day and they're comfortable. They don't slip off my shoulder. They are water resistant. I don't have to worry about the rain and living in uh, Washington and Seattle and all. It's, they're known for its rain. So no worries with this bag. They hold everything and they don't break the bank. And I was very lucky to get it come in at that time when they were having two sales that were great sales. And it's not about that I didn't spend a lot of money. I, I, with the money that I spent, I bought a lot. I did buy a lot. With the money that I spent, I could have bought less than a Chanel, but more than a, a Louis Vuitton. That's how much money I spent. But these bags will last me forever. They will get use every day. I have a few Louis Vuitton bags, which I have still never carried. Uh, one that I'm thinking of selling to a, a place like Rebag, uh, because, and that is an, an, the, ne the last Neverfull I got, because when I got it, the, the handles were twisted. And I specifically asked the, the sales associate, please keep the handles a certain way, and they did not, and they came all twisted. And yeah, that's a lot of money to spend, and, and you're not getting the the bag in the condition that you want it to be in. And if you send it back, then that's a strike against you because they monitor how many times you return something. And I'm tired of that. I'm really tired of having to answer to stores if I want to buy something or not. So I'm I'm going. I'm very happy with what I have, but I think I want to sell the the Nev my most current Neverfull because it came twisted, and I don't really think I need another one. I think these totes will will take me through every single day, and the other ones I could use occasionally, because I haven't worn them. I ha they still are brand new, I, and I could sell them as brand new. So sorry to deviate on that. I was just about to tell you all about what this bag has. And, well, and according to their website, I copied the website from Go Forth Goods, and these are the features. It's handmade in Marietta, Marietta Georgia. It's American source full grain, six ounce leather that is unlined, and that's unlined inside is suede, which is the back of the hide. It is, uh, these are so solid copper hammered rivets. Hand, hand hammered rivets, I should say. Solid copper. This is great quality. That it's water resistant. It has a, this, this one has two interior pockets. It's, uh, it has a key clip in here, which is solid brass. And I have a little keychain hanging from that, which they send you as they sent you a sample of the leather that you got. Uh, also, it has the handles are three quarters of an inch wide. Over here, this three quarters of an inch wide, and um, there's optional snap closures, which I chose this one. You could have hidden snap closures. Or you could have nothing here, and it's just open. Or you can have this. I, I did this not for security purposes, even though it is secure. I did this because I really like the look of it. And what else do, do they say? It has, you could get brass feet, that's optional. And they will customize you, they'll put your initials on if you want. My husband got, I bought my husband a gift and hopefully, a, Soon he will do a review on that on my channel. And I bought him, it's called the Gunner Sack. It's from Go Forth Goods. It's a, it's a Gunner Sack duffel bag. And I asked them to put his name on it, which is Buck, B-U-C-K. They put, usually give you three, uh, three initials, but in this case they did me a favor and gave me the four. And um, that's it. I just dropped my notes, excuse me. There it is. So this is called the Avery Tote Bag. Inside, I'll take the things out first.
inside is the back of the hide, which is suede. This is a um, this is a, called a rustic a rustic sage hide. You can see inside. This is a, a back pocket here and a front pocket on this side. And this is the back behind this pocket. The pocket is only attached over here and over here, not on the back. So you can actually stick things there. Let, let's say an umbrella. You can stick it there and it won't go flying all over the bag. You can see the seams are in here, and it's very roomy. This is the small. Let me tell you the measurements of this one. The small is, well, this one is 10 inches high. Where did I write them? I hope I wrote down the measurements. I don't think I did write down the measurements. Okay, I will write down the measurements. I will include the measurements underneath the video. That was really, really silly of me to leave out. But I know this is 10 inch. Wait a minute, I have a, I have a, a measuring tape. This is 10 inches from top to bottom. Almost 12 inches from side to side. And I believe the width is like four or something like that at the bottom. Yes, it's four and a, four and a half at the bottom. It gets thinner at the top, but at the bottom it's four and a half inches. Let me just do the, the width of this again. 10 by 12 by 4. And that's approximate because I'm doing it quickly. And this weighs empty now 1.8 pounds. Let's see what, if I have to read anything else. Because I want to get it, I don't want to make a mistake because this is a really, really great company. I, I mean, with the money I spent, I could have gone to any company. And I didn't. I chose to buy these bags. Um, okay, let me show you what's inside it. All my, all my the things that I have in this bag come also from Go Forth Goods, except one of the items. This is their zipper top pouch. Do you see the character on this? I hope it comes through because it is really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I didn't buy that. This time I bought this a, a time before. It's a y, YKK zipper. Very sturdy. And I have pick a mask, tic tacs, aspirins, and floss. And I was living on those aspirins this week because March and September are very bad allergy days months for me. So this was inside here. I also have this that I purchased from uh, Go Forth Goods, which is their Marie wallet. It's their full length wallet. And I love it so much that during the next sale, the 30% sale, which I haven't got received yet, I bought all the other colors. It has a snap button closure. And you can see this is the hide, and look at the character on this. Look at the now I have so many wallets. I have a whole box just full of coach wallets. I have Louis Vuitton wallets. 
And now I have Go Forth Goods wallets, and I love it. I actually love all my wallets, but I'm really enjoying using this. Uh-oh, it would have been a good idea not to show my credit cards. Let me take them out really quick. Good thing I noticed that. So this holds 12 credit cards, and the top ones go on an angle. These go on an angle, too, on the bottom. This is where money goes. In my case, I'm putting money there. This is the back. It has a full width zipper or length zipper. And in it, I have, I have all my important cards, such as uh, my driver's license and stuff like that. And this has a little tassel on here. And I love this wallet. I've been using it since the day I got it, which was maybe a month. Maybe a month or something like that. I also have this pouch. And this pouch comes from actually Amazon, from a company called Hide and Drink. So, yeah, I, I love this. It has a little green in it. I go with this. And this was actually made in Guatemala. And I don't think I have anything in it yet. It also has a snap closure. Nope, nothing in it yet. It's just in for the ride, I guess. And this was only $24 on Amazon. Isn't that cute? It's not too thick. I guess you could put receipts in here or actually money you could put in here. Use this as a wallet if you want. Really like this. So this goes in here. My coach wristlet that my, my daughter in Texas bought me and her children and husband. Still using this all the time. I have lipstick. So there, there it is. Two of them. I've been looking for these. And uh, not floss. Lips chapstick. I always get stuck on that. And that goes in there too. And my Louis Vuitton key case. And you know, I'm thinking, suggestion would be great if Go Forth Goods made something like this. I would definitely buy it. Definitely buy it. I had a little issues with this. Now I love this key case. I, I love it, but I have to be very careful because I see how I have my key and it has like a a ring around it so it hooks on. Yeah, now, it doesn't really have to do it for this key, but for this key it does because it, otherwise it won't fit in. The keys fell off a couple of times, so I'm really, really cautious with, with this now because if I lose my key, I won't be able to get in the house. So, yeah, so I, I would replace this, you know, for everyday use and use this special times. I would never get rid of it. I love it. But, so that's what's in here. Nothing is in my pocket. I could put the, the keys in my pocket, back pocket or the front pocket if I want. Really, really happy with this. Oh, and I have a charm on it. This charm isn't new. It's I haven't bought charms yet for this. This is from Amazon a while ago. I think they still have it with a different, different kind of a hanging uh, flower thing. I think the flower that flowers that they have now are more colorful. This is just silver and black. And this I actually bought it for a tan bag. But you could flip it if you don't want to show the tan. Or you have multi uses, uses, and that's from a company called Shayla C H A L A. 
And they have, uh, it wasn't expensive. I think it was like $15, something like that. Let me show you how it looks on me. so comfortable it doesn't fall off and just look these straps are the standard length straps which is I believe 99 and a half inches and you have you could customize and make the straps longer you could change the color this uh, this particular bag uh, usually comes with this color which is mocha but if I didn't want mocha I could have changed it to anything I wanted that they offer any of the other uh, hides that they offer but I love mocha and I think this is a gorgeous combination I love this bag and after I say goodbye to you I'm gonna hit the road and go to the post office oh and look I'm looking in the uh, I can see myself and I'm it really goes nice with with this with this top I like camo I have couple of pair of jeans that are camo, which I don't wear that much. I guess I'll get use out of them now. I think it really looks nice with this. And you see, this is what I wanted to show you. When, I, when it's behind me like this, my elbow, the back of my arm is right here, and it holds the bag, the, it just never falls off, it doesn't slip down. It's very, very comfortable. And this is just with my hand naturally. I don't have to hold it like this to keep it on my shoulder. And for me, this is the perfect length strap standard. Thank you everybody for, for watching. Oh, by the way, did I, I don't think I, I mentioned what this is. Let me read it to you exactly what it is because I think it is a really cute uh, add-on that you could add. I know I wrote it down. Uh, it's called the Button Stud Strap Closure. It it's fastens there. They fasten it there. The hammered rivet. And very easy. You just push this in and it opens and it's really secure. Because you know when you're driving in the car and you stop short and... Yeah, that comes in handy. I do that a lot. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. It was really good to see you guys and talk to you guys. Again, I hope everybody is doing well and is healthy and happy. Take good care, everybody. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye now.